Hello and welcome to Solar System Sports News. It is Sunday, March 29th. I am filling in for the regular host who is on vacation. This weekend saw the 2020 Solar System First Division get underway, the division below the main, Premier Division of Rugby. Northampton Saints who reached the semi-finals of the club club earlier this month, got off to a good start. Beat newly promoted Gives Greater 16-7. In an Earth Derby, the two relegated sides from the Premier Division Munster and Toulouse faced off for their first ever First Division match. Munster triumphed with a strong 39-16 victory to put them top off the table at the end of match week one. Elsewhere, Apollo 11 RFC claimed a comfortable 16-6 win at home to Web Crater while Bath claimed a last-minute winning try to defeat and shock Gibran Crater with a 17-13 away win. Munster topped the league for now with Apollo 11 the Saints and Bath trailing in the top four. This is match week one out of 28. Next week we'll see match week two of the first division as well as the first match week end of the 2020 Premier Division with teams such as Olympus Mons and London Wasps in action. The second division also kicks off soon. In goal, Stepane Rastos of Mars secured a big victory landing a final score of 24 under part at the Calaris Planish Invitational on Mercury. She was trailed by another Martian Rame Schwarzok non-15 under par with an elf weird role in following in third place on 12 under. This tournament also saw 15 new players join the Solar System in the golf tour for 2020 while four other players had announced their retirement. Of all the former amateurs, Manuel Dawson, an American and Earthling performed the best, landing fourth spot with a final score of 11 under par. Next week we'll see the Galileo Regia Classic take place on Ganymede with Camilla Maga Pluto looking to defend her title. In the Interplanetary Basketball League, the Inner League saw the Boalaker own the Dreamers triumph with a 31-18 victory at home to New York Rockets, leaving the Dreamers already on the brink of a place in the semifinals with three match weekends to go in the Inner League. The Sharks remain in second spot after a narrow 28-24 win away to the London Raiders. The next matches in this league will take place in a fortnight. In the Outer League, the Sonics suffered another defeat, losing 25-21 away to the Executioners. The Executioners are now three points clear of third place. In a less entertaining match, the Dragons and Monsters took a point apiece, drawing 18-18. This leaves the Monsters in second while the Sonics are now three points adrift of the semi-final places of the top two. The Outer League continues next Sunday. Thanks for watching and see you again next week.